let's look at divisibility rules. When we say a number is divisible by another number, we mean that if we divide a whole number by another whole number, the result will be a whole number. So why do we care? Well, divisibility rules can help us reduce fractions. For example, if we are asked to reduce the fraction 9 over 261, it is helpful to know that 261 is divisible by 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1, 261 divided by 9 is 29. Also, if we're asked to find the prime factorization of 3,120, it is helpful to know that the visibility rules for 10, 2, and 3. These are just two of the many ways divisibility rules can help us in math. In this video, two of my students will demonstrate how to use the divisibility rules. Okay, so we're not doing one because, well, one goes into everything. So this is how our number, 1,998, is divisible by 2. Since the 1's digit is even, and the rule for 2 is all numbers with even digits in the 1 place are divisible by 2, then 1,998 is divisible by 2. Next, we're going to do 3, and as an example, we're going to have the number 2,361, which you can tell is divisible by 3 because the rule for 3 is if all the digits add up to a number that's divisible by 3, in this case, 12, because 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 1 equals 12, and 12 is divisible by 3, 2,361 is divisible by 3. Now we move on to 4. Our example number for 4 is 1,956. The rule for 4 is, are the last two digits divisible by 4? And 56 is divisible by 4. That's how we know 1,956 is divisible by 4. Next up, we have 5, and our example number is 25,695 which you can easily tell is divisible by 5, because the last digit is 5. And if the last digit is 5 or 0, the number is divisible by 5. Next, we have 6. The rule for 6 is, is it divisible by 2 and 3? For our example number, we have 5,874. We check, is it divisible by 2? 4 is an even number, so it is. Next, is it divisible by 3? 5 plus 8 is 13, plus 7 is 20, plus 4 is 24. 24 is divisible by 3. Now we have the 7 divisibility method, which is slightly more complicated than all the others. Our example number is 4,606. What you first do is you double the last digit, getting 12, and subtract it from 460, getting 448. Then you double 8 getting 16, then you subtract 16 from 44, getting 28, which we all know is divisible by 7. Next, 8. Our example number this time is 7,608. You take the last three digits, 608, you divide it by 2, getting 304, divide that by 2, getting 152, and you know that it is divisible by 8 because you have divided it in half three times successfully. Next up, we have 9, and our example number is 8,991. The method for 9 is similar to 3. You add up all the digits, and you see if it's divisible by 9. 8 plus 9 is 17, plus 9 is 26, plus 1 is 27, which we all know is divisible by 9. Okay, next we have 10. Our example number is 96,960 which we all know is divisible by 10 because it ends in a zero. And all numbers that end in zero are divisible by 10. Next, if you thought that the sevens method was complicated, wait until you see the elevens. What you do is you alternate by adding and subtracting. Our example number is 1,085,183. So what you do is you subtract 0 from 1, plus 8, getting 9, minus 5, getting 4, plus 1, getting 5, minus 8, getting negative 3, plus 3, 
getting zero, and zero is divisible by 11. Next up, we have 12, which is simple, because if the number follows the rules for 3 and 4, it is divisible by 12. Our example number is 33,348. So, the last two digits, 48, is divisible by 4, and then, if you add up all the digits, 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9, plus 4 is 13, plus 8 is 21, and 21 is divisible by 3, so the number is divisible by 12. We move on to 13. Our example number is 11,643,736. So what you do is you multiply the last digit by 4 and add it to the truncated number made by the remaining digits. As you see, with this long number, this could go on for a while. So, first, you take the 6 off 11,643,736, multiply it by 4, 6 times 4 is 24, and add it to the new number, getting 1,164,397. Then you do the same thing with 7. 7 times 4 is 28. 116,439 plus 28 equals... 116,467. We do the same thing again with 7. 7 times 4 is 28. 11,646 plus 28 equals 11,674. 4 times 4 is 16. 1,167 plus 16 equals 1,183. 3 times 4, 12. 118 plus 12 is 130. 130 is divisible by 13. So, 11,643,736 is divisible by 13. Next up, we have 15, which is relatively simple. If it follows the rules for 3 and 5, it is divisible by 15. Our example number is 684,345. And since the last digit is a 5, we know that it is divisible by 5. Then, if you add up the numbers, 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 3 is 12, plus 4 is 16, plus 8 is 24, plus 6 is 30, and 30 is divisible by 3. This is the last number that we will be doing in our divisibility rules. It is 17! Our example number is 29,189. The rule for 17 is you multiply the last digit by 5, and then you subtract it from the truncated number made by the remaining digits. So, you take the 9, multiply it by 5, then subtract 45 from 2,918. Getting 2,873. Then, 3 times 5, 15. 287 minus 15, 272. Next, 2 times 5, 10. 27 minus 10, 17. And 17 is divisible by 17. We hope, we hope you, you enjoyed, enjoyed our, our divisibility, divisibility rules program. program.